Hey peeps, uh, just got done polishing the slide and barrel for my SIG ARMS P226 357 SIG. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, getting in a better light. It is mirror polished. Pretty much. Um, at least as good as I want it. You know, if anyone wants anything better than that, I don't know. It's, it's very, very polished. Except for the locking lugs, I left those alone because I want like a sort of a well, I'm trying out a weathered sort of two-tone look. And um, here's the slide. I specifically weathered the um, the sights a little bit so that they're sort of two-tone. Like on the ridges and things like that. I took the, uh, the sights off and then put them back on and Took the extractor out, stuffed something in there so it wouldn't get all gummed up in there. And, um, it's pretty polished. It's hard to see it in this light, but I guess, you know, it's... I guess you'd call that a mirror finish. Or at least a bright polish. That's good enough for me anyway. Um, started with like 400 grit sandpaper, moved all the way up to 3,000 grit. From 400 to 3,000, that's a lot of sandpaper. And then I used uh, Blue Magic. Well, I used the white compound, polishing compound, and then I used the red rouge um, on different wheels. The sisal wheel, the um, loose wheel, and the um, Canton flannel wheel, and those worked out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I did a little something, something to the trigger, and uh, I'm gonna put it back together and show you guys the whole gun. Cleaned everything out here. I need to re-oil it. Just a dab here and there. These are the gloves I like. The Mr. Clean gloves. They're affordable and um, they... Um, don't have powder so and they don't tear very easily so I like those so here's your daily dose of gun porn I'll show you guys what it looks like um, after I put it back together. Along with this bad boy. <laughs> 